me sweet race. They call me sweet race. Sippy sweet race. Sippy sweet race. Hop in the range. Hop in the range. Take off in the space. Take off in the space. Hey guys, it's CB Gray coming to you guys live with another Destiny video. How are you guys doing today? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Season 11. If some of the stuff in Season 11 is kind of overwhelming for you or potentially confusing, this is going to be the video for you. We're going to break it all down. We're going to talk about the Prismatic Recaster. We're going to talk about the Decoder. And we're going to also talk about the famous Umbrella Engrams. So we got a lot to talk about. So let's go ahead and break this down right now. If this video does end up being helpful, hit the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe because we love to have your beautiful faces. Thank you guys so much and we're so close to 65,000 so I just want to say a big thank you in advance so let's go ahead and get into this I don't want to talk very much so we're just gonna jump in try to jump out keep this super super simple so starting off with the famous umbrella engrams or the umbral engrams the first thing you probably noticed is when you were getting these engrams I can't turn them into the cryptarch correct you can't so where you're going to be turning these in is the umbral decoder so if you ever get these engrams and you're starting off the season know that you're going to be turning them off here that's the first thing. The second thing, where do I get the Umbral Engrams? So there's a lot of different ways now. So um, through random activities, they'll drop. A lot of people have been farming Nightfall bosses to get them to drop. Like right now, the Lake of Shadows boss is one of the Nightfalls. You can get it from there. You can also do the IO New Public Event, and they'll drop from there as well. And I've been getting plenty from there. Um, another thing that you can also do too that people are saying I've heard is you can even AFK forge farm again But there's a lot of different ways you can get these engrams just through means of playing the game Which is very very cool So these umbral engrams are going to be dropping and the cool thing about them is is they can actually drop pretty powerful And we'll get into that in a little bit too as well But so now that we know where you're getting the umbral engrams and we know where you're turning in those umbral engrams Let's talk a little bit more about kind of the specifics of all of this in the recaster. So if we go into the recaster, we're gonna see that it's very similar to the way that the bunkers work. And there's gonna be some stuff we can turn in as well to increase the umbral density. That's gonna allow us to get some very cool upgrades. So how in the world do we get some of these upgrades? Well, let's talk about it. The very first thing is gonna be twisted energy. So if you notice that twisted energy is what I'm gonna be turning in here. So we can get that from the weekly bounties. We got two weekly bounties that we can get 500 from. So that equals 1,000 for one character and 3,000 for three of your characters. So that's pretty dope. And then on top of that, you can also go into your season pass. And when you go into the season pass, you also notice that there are some twisted energies at some certain points in the season pass as well. So there's a couple different ways to get the twisted energy, which is also pretty cool that you'll be turning into the, um, the recaster to get upgrades. That also gives you powerful loot, which is really cool, but then allows you to make more upgrades within your gifts of light, which is also very cool because this is kind of like the bunkers before and if you remember in the bunker you were able to do upgrades kind of like non-linearly where you could upgrade essentially anything you want is like if i updated this at rank one then i could do rank two and rank three the only difference is this time is you're gonna have to do all the upgrades on a row before you can do the next set of rows on in terms of upgrades so i need to upgrade all seven of these before i can upgrade anything from rank two and upgrade anything from rank three but if you notice, there's some pretty cool upgrades as you do some of these. So once a day, earn a bonus Umbral Engram by completing a playlist strike, Nightfall, the Ordeal, Crucible, or Gambit Match, Dungeon Raid, or Menagerie Activity. So some of these, you can get extra Umbral Engrams just from getting certain upgrades. This one's Public Events. This one, up, uh, Umbral Engrams awarded from successful heroic contact public event completions gain a 5% chance to transform into a random focused Umbral Engram. So this is actually a good segue into what in the world is a focused Umbral Ingram. And that's what we're going to talk about here in a second too. But just know that you need to upgrade all seven of these before you can move to the next row. And then before you can move to the next row as well. So this will be a seasonal thing and it'll take us a while to get all these upgrades. But it is very cool that as you're acquiring these upgrades, you'll get more and more Umbral Ingrams through means of playing the game, which is really, really cool. So I kind of like some of these having a random chance of being a focused engram because it takes a certain currency to make a engram focus. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one for now. <laughs> and as you'll see, I have a couple upgrades because I've been grinding a little bit. So I'll also do the one for the, the uh, strike or whatever um, activity I decide to do. And you'll notice that now I need to earn additional ranks to acquire this gift. So I need to grind more ranks for more of these items. So... Let's talk about focused umbral engrams now, or focused umbrella engrams, I like to say. 
So going into the focus umbrella engrams, you'll notice that we have all this different focusing, which is really cool. So like we have pyramid focused umbrella engrams, where if we focus this, we can get some of these new weapons that are in this season, which are really cool. Like I love this sword personally, but there's so many cool things that you can get. There's also, if you decide you want to do an armor focused, you can just get the new armor. Or uh, if you like, let's say legacy season focused, you can get some old stuff from some of the old seasons. And then lastly, you can do dredgen focused and get some of these Gambit Primal weapons, <clears throat> which is very, very cool as well. So you can focus engrams. And so the coolest things about that is that this is allowing you almost in a menagerie style to control what loot you're getting, which is really, really cool, where instead of doing the random slot machine and hating your life because you can't get anything good, you can start focusing what you want. And as you notice, as we continue to upgrade this and improve our focusing, we'll be able to get uh, more and more focus. So rifle focused, where we can just get rifles. We can do um, a rifle focused on Berlingrams, where you're just getting the sword and, and the code denial. So you can start focusing your engrams more as you upgrade more so that you can get specific pieces of loot so this is cool because not only does that mean you can get the rewards you want but let's say i'm power grinding now and let's say man my arm pieces are 1027 but everything else is 1030 for the most part i really just want to get an engram that is armor what i can do is go in and say i want armor specific on my focus i can purchase that and then the next umbral engram i get will be an armor piece so now you're probably wondering well this is all cool but i see this item that's called altered element how in the world am i going to get altered element well i'm glad you asked so um let's go ahead and purchase this first and focus it and then let's talk about how in the world we're going to get uh altered elements and so with that our daily bounties that you can do on multiple characters drop altered elements as well so make sure you're doing your dailies on all your characters you can get a bunch of altered elements you can focus your engrams and then the coolest thing is not even just that when you focus your engrams that they'll give you stuff that you want but also it has a chance and this might be a glitch so it could be fixed by the time you're listening to this but at this time that i'm talking sometimes these focused engrams can result in extra powerful loot and let's just go ahead and take a look and just see if it ends up being powerful i think it'll be a very cool experiment to try this time so it may work it may not and if it doesn't then it's not really the end of the world but um right now a lot of the umbral engrams have been dropping when focused plus four and that's it's random so sometimes it drops at the light but also sometimes it can drop plus four so i'm gonna go ahead and open this one and see if it ends up dropping plus four as you can see right now it says 1031 but we'll see what in the world it ends up dropping at so we ended up getting a chess piece and this one dropped at 1035, look at that. So I just got a powerful piece of loot from an umbral, umbral engram, or an umbrella engram. So these umbrella engrams are awesome. They are great. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip that and now I'm 1037, feels very, very good. So the umbrella engrams are gonna be a great thing that you're gonna wanna farm through the means of nightfalls. I've heard some people doing nightmares. I've heard some people doing AFK forge farming. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can grind for them, but know that they are glitching and dropping very, very powerful. Other people are also doing the IO public event as well. So now we've talked about focusing. We've talked about upgrades. We've talked about um, turning these in. And as you'll see, when we turn those twisted energies, we'll be working towards a rank up. So I'm turning those in. So we'll keep pushing and you'll see that we got an upgrade. We got another umbrella engram. So let's just do it one more time for the interest of showing it. So let's just say now it's like, okay, it looks like I have pretty good armor now, which is great. Maybe this time we want a weapon. So let's go ahead and just clear out a few spaces real quick, just for the sake of being quick. Just clear out a few spaces so that we have space. And when we go focus our umbrella engram, or our umbral engram, and let's say this time, you know what, I, I want a weapon. I wanna see if we can get a weapon. We, we focus again using our altered elements that we got from the daily bounties. And then when I go in, I'll turn one in. It's 1031, and let's see what it drops at. 
and this one see it drop to 1031 so it's not a 100 percent chance but the cool thing is is i can focus my loot and that's something that we haven't really gotten since sundial and menagerie so very 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 cool stuff sorry about my phone making noise but yeah guys so i'm very very excited about this season this season has been great so far i've been really enjoying it and i think that this is a very cool loot system also be collecting these different mods at the bottom as you go as there's some great great options and i highly recommend snagging these uh these mods as they come but yeah guys that's really it and as you keep going guys you'll be able to acquire more upgrades so as you can see i just unlocked another upgrade as we were doing this so what i'll just do is um i'll also do slightly i'll do um five percent chance um I'll do the umbral focusing to four on this one, so the free focus lens. But as you can see, I just got another upgrade in front of you guys. So that's really it, guys. That's all there is to it. So I hope that made it easy. I and mean, really, that's all there is to it. Just jump in, have fun, grind your twisted energy um, from your weeklies, grind your uh, altered elements from your dailies, grab some seasonal pass uh, twisted energy as well along the way, be collecting umbral engrams as you play the game, Make sure to focus them according to what you want. Turn them in. Get powerful loot. And that's it. So hopefully this was helpful, guys. I really, really am enjoying playing with everybody. Thank you guys for all the overwhelming support. Just know I love you. You guys are amazing. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic rest of your day. And with that, I'm going to talk to you guys on the next Destiny video. Thanks. My face is equipped. They shot to the lip. Take out the coin, then I flip. Out the coin, then I flip. Pull out the thorn, then it's real. Out the thorn, then it's real. Dragon tattooed on my hip. Invading like my name is Zim. Dunking these most like a rim. Yes, I am harder than Shin. Making you pay for your sins. The drift of the nine. Yeah, I'm rolling with them. No, I'm not fine. I feel incredible. No, I'm not regular. Stand on a pedestal. Joke is wild. When he's off of his medicine for my squad. I go all like an animal. Buy guns. Got your head on a red up for no trust. You need to go level a man down. But no, I'm not giving up. I think that I said enough.